Hello, Prophet is Alicia. Hear ye the word of the Lord. My people, these familiar avenues, pathways, spirits, issues, sins, iniquities that you keep on dealing with at this particular time in your life. You at a crossroads whether you're going to get rid of all this familiar stuff, all this old stuff, all this old wine, all these familiar habits, bad habits, sinful habits, iniquities, issues, anger, resentment, frustration, unresolved things that you need to get out your spirit. Because you had a crossroads in this season. You had a crossroads whether I'm going to use you or not. You've been thinking I'm going to keep on using you. No, you need to deal with that. Renounce it. Repent from it. And get delivered completely from it. Because I'm only using pure vessels in this season. I'm only using people. People that are going to lay down every weight and every sin, every weight, every sin that easily besets them. And they're going to go for the mark of the prize. They're going to do my will in its totality. Otherwise, I'm not going to use you. I'm going to let you stay in that familiar place. I'm going to let you stay with them familiar spirits. I'm going to let you see their familiar conversation, them familiar habits while I do new things. This is the month of newness. I am doing new things for my people, those who are willing to let go of all the old and embrace the new. You cannot do things the way you did in the day. You cannot conversate with people the way you did back in the day. You cannot do ministry, church, business, whatever it is in the old way. You must do it in my way and I'm going to do it in an innovative way and a new way. It is time out to assume the same way, the same methods are going to work in this season. I am calling people that our eyes have not seen. I am calling people that you don't think have a call on their life. They're going to be raised up because you refuse to uh, repent, denounce it, go forward in the things of God what I told you to do because you keep on thinking I'm going to use your half-heartedness, I'm going to use your lack of praying, seeking my will I'm going to use you as a positional leader in this season. I am going to deposition every positional leader in this season who is not for my people, who are not for soul, and they're not willing to do the will of the Father. You will be dethroned. You will be uh, 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 fired in this season. Stop being positional. Stop being uh, in just in the place and not in my place. Not in the secret place. It's time for everybody that is seeking my will to get in that secret place. If you have got out the secret place, I need you to get back, get back, get back in it. I need you to pray. I need you to seek me like never before. I need you to get all your instructions. All of it, not some, from me. You must have your steps ordered by me in this season. Because this is the crossroads. It's now either you going to serve me. Or you're going to serve them other things. And I'm going to let all that overtake you. And overwhelm you. And you will stay in that state. You will stay like that. Because I've told you time and time. Let it go. Let the sins go. Let the vices go. Let the bad habits go. Let the anger go. Let the frustration go. Let it all go. Let it go. Let go of the fear. Let go of everything. Let go of everything that I did not give you. If I didn't give it to you, you need to let it go. You need to renounce some things. You need to renounce and repent. You need to go forward or I'm going to use those who are willing and able to obey. I'm going to draw those with my loving kindness and my grace and mercy. But I'm not going to stand extra grace and mercy if you keep doing the opposite of what I told you to do. Obedience is better than sacrifice. This is the end times. Either you're going to do it my way or no way at all. And you can just live your mediocre life. But I raise up and bless those. It is an urgency to do what I my will. It is an urgency to get the abundant life. It is an urgency to seek my will. It's an urgency to possess everything I have for you. It is an urgency to get the promise of God. But how, what are you willing to let go? Because all of it got to go. Because I'm not dealing with familiar. I'm not dealing with old. I'm dealing with new. I'm dealing with obedient. I'm dealing with the humble. That's who I'm dealing with in this season. So you at this crossroads. Are you going to let it all go and go forward? Stop being stagnated? Stop being complacent? Stop grumbling and complaining? Or are you going to do exactly what I told you to do? Are you going to be blessed in the city, blessed in the field? Well, you got to do something. You got to obey me all the way. And for those who've been remaining, this is for you.
You about to get blessed. I'm about to blow your mind. I'm about to let everything that you have been faithful with, I'm going to make you rule over many. Because many of y'all been faithful. Many of y'all been staying on the potter's wheel. Many of y'all allowing me to purge you, prune you, change all of everything from inside out. You allowing me. There's a blessing coming your way. There's rewards coming your way. There's protection from everything you see in the world your way. It's not going to even bother you. It's not going to even phase you. Because it's just going to be blessed. The remnant is going to be blessed in this end times. This is for you as well. So this is my word for my people. It's time to go forward. You had a crossroads in this season. Either you're going to stay where you're at or you're going to go forward.